Welcome to a world where you can learn about real life in a setting that is alive and growing just like you are. From everyday people who may never have teaching certificates, but all have something valuable to offer. In a place where everyone is a student and everyone is a teacher. This is the One Room Schoolhouse. Good morning. Good morning, Miss Rebecca. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. Good morning, friends at home. Welcome. Happy Monday. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Nice. And let's add in what? What is this? Friends, friends or amigos. And bonjour. And bonjour. Aiden loves that bonjour, don't you, buddy? I love it. I love it too. You need to go to the bathroom. You can shirk. Very good job. So we are here at, at school, I don't know about you guys at home, but when our friends have to go to the bathroom or get a drink of water, what do we do? Do we, do we shout what we need? What do we do when we need some water? Mackenzie's doing it. Autumn's doing it. We do that because that's water. And then show us what we do when we have to go to the bathroom and you don't use your words. Ooh, Magnolia's doing it very well. Nice, Jalen. And this way we can go to the bathroom and, and get water and I just go. We don't even use words. It's crazy, isn't it? Happy Monday. I hope you guys had a good weekend. We had a birthday over the weekend. Mm -mm, I did. Henry. And me. Hen well, we celebrated your birthday on Friday, right? Your birthday was Friday. But we had a birthday yesterday that we're going to celebrate later today. Henry, how old did you turn yesterday? Seven. Seven years old. We got another seven-year-old. And your parents are coming later to bring some treats for your friends. And we're going to have a little <laughs> birthday party today. Hey. I don't know. We're going to find out. Henry told me they're cupcakes. Oh, well, then if he told you, you Henry know more than I do. Henry, Henry, you're... I was so upset. I was like, oh, today's my best friend's birthday. Oh, we knew, he knew it was your birthday yesterday. Well, that's what the wonderful thing about school is. Even if a birthday's on the weekend, we can come back and celebrate it. Okay, I want everyone on the seat. Oh, thanks for the, thanks for this grass. Um, I can put it, I can put it away for later, can I? Maybe if we find find something that needs a little help, we can use that little bedding of grass. Okay, yes, Indiana. I got grass. Let's not pull all of it, though. I like, I, I kind of like the grass. grass. Yes, Indiana. Okay, you can go, you can go. All right, shh, I want everyone to sit down. We can only do one at a time, okay? Let's do one at a time. Did you guys do your morning chores this morning? Yeah! Now, you guys had a few extra people this morning helping doing chores, huh? Yeah. Did anyone get to meet our special guest that's gonna be here in a minute? I did. You did? Do you remember his name? Sure. Okay, well, it, a few more minutes and I'm going to bring on our friend who is here, our guest teacher. This, oh, if I'm, if you're talking, your friends can't hear me, right? Okay, let's not pull any more grass, okay? Let's keep the grass in the ground. Yes, Mackenzie? Um, Maybe when, we, when he comes out, you guys can talk about the little plant. Okay, let's keep the grass in the ground. Yeah. 
Okay, let's keep the grass in the ground. Alrighty, you guys, let's do our Pledge of Allegiance. Follow me to the flag. Oh, do we normally go past the gate? No, sillies. Let's make sure all of our friends are here and ready. Autumn, I'd like for you to get off, please. CJ, I'd like for you to get off, please. All righty, right hand over heart and face the flag. Everyone ready? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Very good. Let's go find our seats. Here you go. And I would just put that down. If you're not drinking, I wouldn't chew on it or your, your straw might break. Come on, CJ. Find your seats. Friends at home, I hope you guys are able to, wherever you are, I hope you're able to do the Pledge of Allegiance as well. All the way back there. <laughs> Hi, Aaron. Okay. Everyone find your seats. Who would like, raise your hand if you want to say the morning prayer. Let's see. Aubrey, I haven't called you in a while. Come on over. Very nice. Okay, friends at home, join us in prayer. Everyone, eyes closed. Okay. Dear God, thank you for this day. I hope you have fun celebrating Henry's birthday. And I hope we have fun today. Thank you for Joshua, Aiden, Lulu, Isaiah, Mackenzie, Caleb, Autumn, Henry. And I hope we have a nice day. Give me a great amen. Amen. Very nicely done. All righty, you guys. Are you guys ready to meet? Someone that I just got the chance to meet this weekend, Aiden. Are you ready to meet our friend? Yeah. So this man, let me tell you something, you guys. A lot of people would love for him to come to their schoolhouse. So we are very, very, very lucky to have him. He, I'll let, you, I'll let him tell you a little bit about himself, but just know, you see our, our farm here and all of our animals? He has a lot more than this. He knows all the things about all the animals and all the farming and all the land, and he goes around and shares it with other people. So we are very lucky that he is here today to share a few things. Also, he's been giving Farmer Dalton and Rachel some tips on our barnyard and some things that we can do to grow animals and our own food and all the things. Are you guys ready to meet my new friend? Yes. Mr. Joel Salatin, come on over here. You guys welcome our friend, Mr. Joel. Hi, everybody. Can you say hi to our friends at home, Mr. Joel? Hi, all of our friends at home. It's great to have you with us. It's great to be here. It's wonderful to be here. And uh, I'm excited and eager to, um, to share with you this morning a few concepts. We're going to have to, we're, it's, it's going to require all of us working together to, um, you know, to, to get the concept. So, you know, what we do, we, um, I'm, I'm in Virginia and we farm um, with, animals lots of animals the same kind of animals you have here we have a few more but our whole goal at our farm is to grow animals so that each animal can serve its most valuable purpose do you have do you have chores to do at home no. i know you have chores to do here to do. you have chores to do yeah you have things to do right and and if if you didn't do if you didn't do your chores, it would be a really uh, a, a kind of a disorganized like if nobody cleaned the toilet and nobody took out trash and nobody fed the dog and nobody washed your clothes, it'd be a kind of stinky unorganized world, wouldn't it? And so and so animals animals are here to do nature's chores. Just like we have things to do, responsibilities, 
animals have the same thing and they each have a, a, a certain kind of thing to do. And so, yes? Do we, I'm sorry, animals. What, what are we going to do with the animals? What are we going to do with the animals? You know what? We're going to be the animals. We're going to be the animals. That's, we're going we're gonna to role play this so that you can visualize what we do. The, the, yes? Uh, like, like the, our chickens like, have chores to do with the eggs. Like, lay them. That's right. That's right. If the, chicken, if the chicken didn't lay an egg, we wouldn't be able to eat an egg. And so she has to... She has to kind of, you know, go through her, her, her chicken thing and lay an egg, right, for us to have. So that's her responsibility, Indy. Um, um, so that means the, the eggs lie the, lie like the oak, but, but the eggs lie like the oak, and because we have to eat it. Oh, you like the yolk better than the white? Yeah, yeah. Well, a lot of people like one part of the egg better than another. All right, let's. Uh, we're, we're gonna we're gonna have to go do this, or we're not gonna get it done. Okay. We we we, we, we can take more questions later. Okay. We can take more questions later. Hold on one second. All right. One but second. Here, here here's the thing I want you to I want you to hear. In, in animals in nature, the point is just like you have different roles to play, animals have different roles as well. But one of the problems on a farm, one of the problems on a farm is how do we create, how do we create or, or, or recreate nature's role for this animal? And too many times in our current culture, we don't allow animals or, or use animals in a way that honors their, their role, the, the the cowness of the cow, the pigness of the pig, you know. And so, if we'll, we're going to go out through that gate and we're going to set up a farm, we're going to be the animals, and I'm going to show you how on our farm we, we duplicate, we model our farm production after the way animals are handled in nature. Can you help me do that? Yeah. Good, all right, well, let's go through this gate and we'll go out here and we'll set up, all right? Okay. Yes, I did, and I think it's fantastic. I think it's, fa well, actually, uh, Mr. Rory um, uh, learned about me. Okay, we're gonna be right here in this, in this space, okay? You guys are gonna be here. All right. <laughs> you have a question? Here, I'll hold your water. Go see which one. It's a soliloquy. Yes. That's right. We give animals food. They give us food. So, so we are caretakers for them. Then they're caretakers for us. That's right. That's right. Okay. So here's the deal. Here's the deal. This right here is grass. Is grass. Yes, it's grass. <laughs> and you know what it's made out of? No. Sunlight. Sunlight. I knew that. You knew that. Of course you knew that. It's made out of sunlight and it uses it uses a process called photosynthesis. Can you say photosynthesis? Photosynthesis. Photo good. Photosynthesis to reach up. Can any can anybody can anybody grab sunlight for me? H hand, hand me a sunbeam. Can you hand me a sunbeam? Anybody hand me a sunbeam? Oh, yeah, oh, you guys are already ahead of me. Yes, you're handing me sunbeams. Yes, these Here. so so through through the wonderful pro <laughs> lots of sunbeams. Lots of sunbeams. All right. So isn't it isn't it amazing that something as oh, okay, thank you. Uh, something as 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 mystical and 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 amazing as all right. That's enough. As 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 sunbeams through photosynthesis can make something we can we can touch, we can weigh, we can measure. Okay, and so in nature. In nature, 
what makes this grass and clover and things, what makes it always grow well is constant pruning. Pruning, okay, have you ever, uh, so, so pruning is like, is like mowing, all right? But you can't mow everything. So you know what mows in nature? You know what mows and prunes to, to freshen it up like, a, like, like you'd prune a vineyard or prune an apple tree uh, to freshen it up? Yes, what? Uh, oh, like roosters and chickens. All right, well, yeah, but, there, but there's one kind of animal that really, that really eats this. Horses? Uh, yeah, yeah. Deer. You're, you're in the deer, all right. Is there, can you? Dinosaurs. Oh. Dinosaurs, <laughs> oh, they ate a lot of this, yes. What, what's, your, what's your answer? Um, peacocks. Peacocks, wow. yeah. Well, they eat some of it, all right. Me so, 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 so what? Hey, hey, me, me. So what, what do me. you call an animal? Yes. What do you call an animal that only eats plants? Yes, good, an herbivore. What do you call an animal that eats only meat? Dinosaur. Dinosaur. Car carnivore. Carnivore. carnivore, carnivore, yes. All right, does anybody know? All right, here's the big question. Does anybody know what you call one that eats both plants and meat? Carnivore and. No, what is it? You know what it is? Yes, go ahead. Of it's the mix of the both. But I don't really know what's ah. called. Yes, omnivore. Good, omnivore. So we've got carnivores, herbivores, and omnivores. Okay. I know one dinosaur that is an omnivore. <laughs> a dinosaur that's an omnivore? A dinosaur. Yeah, you know what his name is? Stop eats plants and meat. Yeah, a dinosaur that's an omnivore? He eats both Democrats and Republicans? No, I don't. Anyway, all right. So anyway, all right. <laughs> all right. So anyway, here we are, okay? And we've got omnivores, herbivores, and carnivores, okay? So herbivores. So can anybody give me some herbivores in nature that you know? Like like yeah, Indiana? Um, herbivore? Sugar. Skeletons and sugar. All right. My turn. Uh, yes, your turn. Um, um, horses. 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 Horses or herbivores? And okay. And cows. Cows. Yes, cows. Here we go. We got cows. I finally got where I was headed. Okay, cows. <laughs> Boy, we took a long route to get there. All right. Cows. They're like bison, like zebras, like wildebeests, like like caribou. Okay. Herbivores. All right. But on a and so in nature, if you ever watch a, a nature program, what, what do you notice about these herbivores? Like, you know, uh, uh, when, when you see a nature program, what do you notice about them? Do they stay in the same place? No. No, what do they do? They, they go move. different places. They go different places. They migrate, they move, don't they? Mm -hmm. But the problem is on a farm, on a farm, they can't move very far, yeah. right? Because your neighbor doesn't want them. The, the Starbucks parking lot doesn't want them. And so, so how, do we, how do we mimic, how do we uh, uh, duplicate that movement? So here's where you come in. We use a really cool thing. It's called electric fence, electric fence. So I need four people, okay? You Four people to be a Rachel to be a post. Here. All right, here you go. Right here, you go. Right here, right here. Okay, and and right here. All right, everybody else, give us some space here. Okay, wait a minute. Now y'all y'all stand right. Don't don't move around. Come right here. All right. So what we're doing is we make a field here. Can you you guys move out of the field? Move out of the field for now. Okay. Now, spread out a little bit so we have a little bigger field, okay? We're gonna make a big, little bigger field. Yeah, there you go, okay, all right. So, imagine here, there's an electric fence right here, okay? All right, here are the four corners, okay. Now, now, I need, I need three cows, okay? All right, need three, that's, that's good, three, right, right, whoa, 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 I, need, I just need three, all right? Everybody else out except three, okay? 
Everybody else out except three, okay? Don't worry, everybody has, everybody has time. All right, you're the birthday boy, that's fine. Okay, these are, these are three cows, all right? Can you, uh, uh, can you moo a little bit or act like a cow? How would a cow act? Yeah, what would a cow do in his field? Eating, yeah, what else would it do? <laughs> you can't do that here. It would be pooping too, all right? So you're eating, you're pooping, you're, you're eating this grass, right, okay. So, so we've got these three cows here, all right? Now remember, we want to, we want to move, okay? So, now I need, I need two more people to be posts. All right, come on, come on, anyway. I need, I need two. I'm gonna make another field, all right, come on. Come right up here, we're gonna make another field right here. Okay, there we go, another post right here. That's good, Dalton, okay. You're a good volunteer, all right. So now, we have another field. So what happens is, as, as these cows, you want to be cows again? Do your cow thing, all right? You can just a minute, just, you can be something else, all right? All right, we got cows, all right? So what happens is tomorrow, so you're in here one day, you've pruned, you've pruned this solar energy, this, this sunbeams, you've pruned it, freshened it up, but now it needs to rest. So guess what? These three cows, I'm gonna walk out here after I've set this up and I'm gonna say, Come on, cowies! And what are you gonna do? Tomorrow, that's right! Good. All right whoop, whoop, whoop. That's it, don't go through the electric fence. Don't want anybody to get shocked here. All right, and so now, all right, so what are the cows gonna do? You're gonna eat, you're gonna poop, you're gonna, all right, you're gonna fertilize, you're gonna prune, all right, you're gonna ingest this, all right. Now, this paddock is now empty. Now, in nature, something always follows the herbivores. They're, they, aren't, they aren't what's called monospecies, which is just like one species. If you look at like the Serengeti in Africa, if you, if you could have had cameras way back on the, American, on the American plains when the bison were here, it wasn't just bison. There were other things, okay? And what's the most common other thing that follows herbivores? You know what animal it is? Not dinosaurs. <laughs> well, we're really stuck on dinosaurs. Really stuck on dinosaurs, aren't we? Okay. Yes. If you don't know what you were gonna say. Uh, bison No. 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 Bison aren't extinct. No. 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 Not bison. Are they endangered? Uh, not really. No. There, there's 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 a lot more bison now. Yes. Horses, no, not horses. Okay, it's birds. Birds follow the herbivores. So I need, so I need three birds. And what, and what, what kind of bird do we normally have on a farm? Yes, you can. What, what, what? Oh, yes, you can. Come in. We, we'll have, we'll have one, two. Oh, wait a minute, I, I don't want to lose my post. Where'd my post go? Oh, you're, you're my post. Um, you're my, my, post I, yeah, the, the post. You're, we're still got our field, all right? One, two, come on in, come on in. Three, all right. We got, so now we've got birds. But what kind of bird do we have on a farm? A barn owl? Well, sometimes we have a barn owl. A peacock. <laughs> sometimes a peacock. What, what, what's the most common, what's the most common bird? Yeah! Yes, yes, a chicken! So you three are going to be chickens that follow the cows. And what would a chicken do in here? What would a chicken do? Be a chicken. Be a chicken. What do they do when you want What do they do? Remember what those cows did in here? This is the most exciting part of the whole thing. The birds, are you ready? The chickens. When they see what the cows left behind, it's about this big around, about the size of a pumpkin pie. Oh. When they see that, yeah, we're in pumpkin season, so think about, yeah. So, so when, when they see this, you, you know what it is? It's poop. But it's full of, of worms and bugs 
And so the chickens scratch through. You know, they scratch through. And you know, the thing about a chicken is, and you see this with your chickens. Do you know a chicken can't scratch and eat at the same time? Have you ever noticed that? A chicken, a chicken is is balanced, so they can't they can't. They're only two legged. I see. I'm four. I'm, you know, I can get out on a four. So if you have two, you can't you can't go out here and scratch. So a chicken, you ever notice a chicken goes up, and they they scratch, and then they back up and look at it, and then they scratch, and then they back up and look at it. It's kind of like backwards break dancing, you know. <laughs> Right? It's really cool, you know. And so this is the way the chickens then come up to the cow pies. And, and guess what all else? Because of all this that the, that, the, that the cows have mowed, it also exposes grasshoppers and crickets and worms. And so the chickens are eating grasshoppers and crickets and worms. And they're, they're essentially, their role is, so the cows the cows are up here, okay? And so their role is they sanitize as the cows move, the chickens sanitize behind the cows. All right, now I need two more fence posts. Indy, you wanna come be a fence post? Come be a fence post. You and Rachel, go be a fence post. No, I'm not, I'm, I'm, gonna, be, I'm gonna be a cow. You wanna be a cow? Yeah, move. <laughs> All right, well. Uh, well we, Come, come on, come on, be a All it, parts are important. Fence all right, you can be a cow. All right, now. come on, be a, be another. Okay, so now we have now we have a third field. Now we have a third field. It's now the next day, and I'm gonna come out, and I'm gonna say, come on, cowboys! There you go. Come in, and you're gonna be cows. Can you? Can you teach Dalton that call so that he yeah. can call the cows like that, please? Can we make sure he can do that? We okay. practice after this. Yeah, yeah we can practice. <laughs> we can do some, do some cow calls. All right. Then, 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 all right. Now we have an empty, empty field here. What's going to come in again? Chickens. So here come the birds, like the egret on the rhino's nose, like the birds that follow herbivores. That's right. Come in. Come in. Be a chick. That's good. That's good. Oh, 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 my God. You're all going to come in, and you're going to scratch, and you're going to peck. You're going to eat the grasshoppers and the fly maggots and, and all that, and you're going to spread the cow patties out. And that's the way, that's the way we move through the, through the, uh, the farmscape one, one field at a time. Yes. You're getting tired of standing? Yeah, okay. So you want to be a farmer? All right, that's good. That's good. All right. So, so now guess what? What comes behind? Now guess what? Yeah. As we as we as we move through Fortunately, I've had some really good fence posts here. And so now it's time we're we're running out of fence. So guess what? We take we take the first field over here, my four fence posts, you follow me, my four, my four fence posts, all right? And you're gonna come here, we're gonna have a new field, okay? Need another fence post here, all right? Yep, that's it, that's it, another fence post, another fence post here, okay? All right, and so this way, by using the fence, the, 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 the movable fence, all right, that we can we can roll up. We can actually steer. We can steer the cows, and we can steer the chickens. We can steer them across the landscape, so they don't live in their own poop all the time. They get fresh ground all the time. They get fresh, what we call a fresh salad bar all the time. And so this is the way nature handles it to sanitize so that the animals don't stay in their same toilet. They move on to a new salad bar, a new, a new buffet, if you will. And, and the animals are able to do a positive, a really positive thing for the landscape. They're not a, they're not a negative, they're actually positive and they're fulfilling their role in nature as they move through the landscape. And it's the, it's the technology, it's the technology of the fencing 
that allows us to steer the animals around the landscape. Do you have a recommendation for like the amount of chickens that follow the cows or, or that, that sense? Yeah, so, um, so in an in, in a actual practical sense, uh -huh. um, you know, one chicken to 10 cows would be plenty. Okay. okay? The problem from a, uh, uh, from a commercial reality is that if that's all you used, it would, you don't get enough eggs to pay for the trip out to gather them and move them. Right, right. So we supplement with feed so we can have more chickens than necessary so that our trip out to gather eggs, it's, check water things, gets compensated with more than a couple dozen eggs. Gotcha. That, and so Farmer Dalton and Rachel, these babies that we have in there that we just got that the kids are raising, are they the ones that are going to be following the, yeah, the cows? They're all egg layers and they're going to be following the cows. I love yeah. it. Yeah. And, and so, so the, the beauty of this is that now instead of cows just being hamburger and T-bone steak and the chickens just being, you know, um, eggs, whatever, now the cows and the chickens are all elevated to a place of, of, of being on our land healing team mm. and our solar conversion carbon sequestration team. Can you say sequestration? That's a cool word. Sequestration. Okay. Sequestration. So, so these animals are not now just just production units. Mm -hmm. They're actually they actually join our whole team to actually help the 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 sunlight and the grass grow, metabolize more sunlight. The grass then pumps sugars into the soil that feeds actinomycetes and mycelium and all that stuff. Okay. And and they they actually work together, which we call symbiosis so they it's it's where it's where the cows and the chickens one plus one plus the farmer one plus one plus one does anybody tell me what one plus one plus one equals three three, three. good yes but in symbiosis now this will throw you for a loop in symbiosis one plus one plus one equals four isn't that cool now don't take that to your math class, all right? <laughs> but <laughs> but that's the that's the joy that's the joy of getting of getting complementary parts working together so that they each help each other instead of uh, instead of degrading each other. Mm -hmm. And and each and it works because we are actually leveraging and using the 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 individual distinctiveness of the animal what they like to do now can you think of something that might come after the chickens mm. uh, may you please be everybody wants to be a cow let's just imagine i'm going to give you one more animal to enjoy being all right just imagine this all right so the cows so the the, the, the cows have moved up here we've moved them up cow all right, everybody up here to the farm. All right, so now we have three paddocks. All right, but now wait a minute. I need I need another, I need another two animals here. All right, you want to be another animal? All right, all right. So here here here. This I'll be a chicken then. You're not a chicken. Oh. You're gonna be another animal. Oh okay. You can be a host. I can all right. Be You're gonna be a pig. A pig. Oh boy. So how does a pig do? What does a pig do? Do a pig. Well. Some, These are pigs. Who wants to be a pig? Be anything you want to be. You Go be a pig. Be, you have to be no, what the works. Life the life lesson system. of the day. <laughs> Thank you, oh, Mr. Dolph. <laughs> yeah. So we're gonna be pig. a pig. What, what would a pig do? You wanna be a pig? Right? Roll around in dirt. That's right. Go and be a pig. He's gonna come in. He's gonna dig around, right? Okay, he'll be a pig. He's gonna he's gonna dig around. Okay. The point is, these animals are all unique. That's what's cool about this. They're unique. And, and one of the, if I, can may, if I may be philosophical for a moment, one of the problems in our current industrial food system is that we don't, we don't appreciate 
the difference between a cow and a chicken and a pig. We put them all in the same kind of house, we give them the same kind of food, we treat them the same way, and we don't, we don't uh, honor, we don't honor their individual distinctiveness. And just like some people are introverts and extroverts, and some are engineers, and some are poets, and some are, you know, uh, um, different, you know, do different kinds of things, the same way animals are doing different kinds of things. And so, so in, in our culture, when we honor the pigness of the pig and we create, we create production models that allow a pig, a chicken, or a cow to fulfill their natural role, that creates an ethical framework on which we honor the distinctiveness of I don't, I don't know, I'm sorry, I don't know your names, but, but I could go down each of your names. That's how, that's how we honor the distinctiveness of individual people, Toms and Marys and, 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 and Joes and Marcy's and Rory's and Miss Rebecca's and all the different people. It's how we honor these animals and create roles of function, function for them to express their distinctiveness that creates this wonderful ethical honoring framework on which we hang the respect of individuals throughout a culture. I love that. Is that not cool? I love that because that applies to animals and humans and That's right. It everybody is. and everyone has a purpose and every animal has a purpose and That's right. Um, I love that. That's what we, we strive to be here at school for sure. Can you share just a, just a little bit, you, I, we got to enjoy a little bit of your talk the other day about how important it is for children to be hands-on oh. and involved. Um, like you did morning chores with the kids this morning. Uh -huh. And it's not always, right, yeah, yeah. perfect. No. Um, but <laughs> no. just the concept of them just being in the moment, being present while maybe an adult is doing something and how important that is. Well, yeah, so, so the, the, the idea of understanding that there's something going on here be, beyond me, uh, so often, you know, we, uh, um, with video games and all that, all that electronics, um, our, our young people too often, I think, are growing up in, in a fantasy world, a, a world of fantasy that's something that, well, I can just, I can just create it, uncreate it. Man, I'm, I'm in control, baby. You know, um, if, if, if my car runs off the road in a, in a fantasy game, well, 10 seconds, it gives me a new car, right. you know? And, and, and the, the thing about, about being involved with plants and animals and actually it in, immersed in a visceral way as a participant in, in this that's, that's way bigger than us. We didn't make the sun, we didn't make this grass plant. And to appreciate that there's something bigger here than me that I can't control. I can participate, I can, you know, I can be a, a team player in this, but I can't switch this on and off right. uh, is such a powerful thing. And I think children's gardens uh, where, you know, you grow a tomato and sometimes a worm comes and eats a tomato and the garden doesn't give you another tomato, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, or if you, if you neglect to feed the chickens mm -hmm. and they starve to death, you don't get another chicken. Right. So, so responsibilities, dependability, faithfulness, perseverance, all of that is real. It's not just as long as the battery lasts on the game. Right. It, 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 this is life. Yeah. It's, and I think, I think that that creates a, a kind of a humility of spirit to understand that, that there's something more magnificent here going on than just an on-off switch. Right, right. And, and you're never too young. No. I mean, this is why we, we start early. That's right. Um, and why, even though I'm sure it takes a little bit longer to do morning chores for Dalton and Rachel, at the end of the day, it's, it's what well, we're all know, about. It's like, it's like uh, driving a nail, you know, that's uh, um, driving a nail. You know, you don't do anything efficient first. You don't do it skilled first. Mastery requires repetition over and over and over again. And as I was watching these, uh, these children move, you know, the first day they were here, I'm sure Dalton moved the chickens. They didn't, showed them how. And now they're old hands. I mean, you could actually, you could, probably leave for the chores and the children they'd get it done they'd get it done something might be a little bit askew but 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 but, but basically they would get it done all right and that becomes that is because of repetition so you know driving a nail the problem is that as a, as a parent oh 
uh, or washing dishes, it's sometimes laborious to, to watch these little fingers and these little hands and this, this unskilled try to do something and, oh, just let me do it, right. you know, let me do right. it. But that child's gonna be 15 one day, 16 one day, 17, and it's gonna be here in a blink. Mm -hmm. And if we don't let them bend over some nails, if we don't let them leave a couple little egg stains on the plate, all right, in their first attempts to wash, if we don't let that, that clumsiness happen under our praise and encouragement, they're gonna be disengaged as teens. Right, right. Um, I don't know how many more minutes we have, but one of the things that you talked about was the kid, the garden. And here, you know, it would be very easy for the adults just to go and do all the gardening and it would look beautiful right. all the right. time. And right. this year, we intentionally, Rory and I intentionally were like, we this is their garden. So if something grows, it grows. And if it doesn't, we'll assess. Right. What did we do? Not right. What we can do better? So yeah. Yeah. I'm sure the kids would love to show you their own gardens and all the work that they've been doing. If we're able to, can we go? Sure. Can we, uh, can we show him our here. garden? I'm not, um, I'm not six so anymore. So everyone go stand next to your garden beds and let's show Mr. Joel. Yeah, and let's they, see your garden, let me see your garden beds. We do not touch it. I'll um, see your garden beds. There might be some weeding we need to be do, we need to do. So hold my hand. What are you, a cow? Come on, cow. Come on, cow. Moo. Moo. So yeah, they have their names Moo. on their bed. On yes. Your garden. Um, yeah. I, yeah. Throughout the day, it's just like so work cool. on your garden. There's no specific yeah. every day. It's like uh -huh. make sure you water, you weed, and they do it. And it's you don't have a designated time. Sometimes they, they we do, but uh -huh. but mostly I just say make sure you water and weed before you leave for the day. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And they all kind of do at different times. Oh. All right, Kyle, um, where's, your where, where's your garden? So like Lulu, we would need to do quite a bit of weeding from all the rain we had this weekend. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. wow! Well, look, you got a radish. You just harvested a radish. You got a radish. Have you? Do you like radishes? Some of them will eat them raw like that. Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, they're just like oh, eating a, them. Yeah, with with some dirt on it. Yeah. Feed your microbiome. Yes. Yes. Uh, you know. What is it? I love it. Yeah. Yeah. Look at, yeah. We're, that's we're big great. Look eating. at that. That's a big one. That is a big one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good for you. So they're they're working hard at, so, at learning. Yeah. I mean, I'm a big believer that every 12 year old should probably eat about a pound of dirt right. before they're 12 yeah. to feed their microbiome. I mean, we, we live in a sterile. Yes. We live in a sterile environment. Yeah. 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 Oh my. He's, oh. He's really got, he's really That's got awesome. radishes. That's awesome. That's yeah, awesome, yeah. Oh, yeah, radishes are fun because they grow real fast. Right, yeah. So they're different things We're a big grow fan of the carrots, slow. too, because you can just pull yeah, them out and eat them. Yeah, carrots, uh-huh. Is it good? Yeah, is this yours? Uh-huh. Is it spicy? So you got, it looks yeah. like you got a, a few, Henry, you might be able to, uh, that's great, CJ. Look at this big one right here. Nice. Have you ever well, tasted well, one? Do you want to take a bite? <laughs> yeah, I am not good. a big, uh, I'm not a big raw radish fan, but you guys feel free to. Oh Chomp yeah, raw radishes are wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Indy harvested you, you, one. You did. You want me to eat one of these? I love it. Where are my friends? I'll at eat home? one of are these. You guys over here. Yum, yum. Thank you guys for joining mm -hmm. us. We're gonna look continue our garden, and we will. Mm. Oh, and look at Autumn's radish that she That's harvested. Wonderful. We will see you guys tomorrow. You guys, thank you for joining us. If you have any questions, it's got a little post different them. taste. Oh, are That's you right. eating it? Is it good? There you go. Wipe no. a little bit <laughs> Hold on. off. Maybe we can feed it. Clean off the tail. Yeah, I had one the other day. It was so spicy. It's not sweet. Bite down on it. But it's, it's really, it's really good, isn't it? I mean, it's, it's a different kind of taste. But it's not cake. It's not supposed to be cake. It's really cool.
These are challenging times for children and for parents everywhere. Remember that school doesn't just have to be in a building with teachers and desks. School can and should happen everywhere. This program is made possible thanks to the generous support from the Dottie Frist Foundation, the Happy Davis Foundation, Heart Utilities, and viewers like you.